वेलकम टू न्यूज लॉन्ड्री छोटा हफ्ता फॉर द फुल एपिसोड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट इज बिहाइंड द पे वॉल एंड ओनली सब्सक्राइबर्स गेट एक्सेस टू अनकट कंप्लीट कॉन्टेंट न्यूज लॉन्ड्री हफ्ता इज आ वीकली रैप ऑफ ऑल दैट मेड द न्यूज ऑल दैट डिडेंट एंड ऑल दैट शुड हैव एंड ऑल दैट शुडेंट हैव वी अग्री वी डिसग्री विद क्रिटिक एंड ओकेजनली वी बीट इच अदर अप बट इट्स ऑल गुड फन सब्सक्राइब दिस इज अ न्यूज लॉन्ड्री पॉडकास्ट एंड योर लिसनिंग टू एन एल हफ्ता अंग्रेज अपना लगान और न्यूज लॉन्ड्री अपना हफ्ता कभी नहीं छोड़ते वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ हफ्ता इन द मिडल ऑफ एन इलेक्शन इन फाइव स्टेट्स थिंग्स हैव बीन एक्सट्रीमली एक्साइटिंग न्यूज वाइज सो एवरीबडी हैज बीन वर्किंग एक्स्ट्रा हार्ड फॉर द लास्ट टू थ्री वीक्स एंड विल कंटिन्यू फॉर अनदर फ्यू जॉइनिंग मी ऑन द पैनल टुडे ऑन द हफ्ता पैनल इज रमन कृपाल हाय रमन सर हाय देन जयश्री अरुणाचलम फ्रॉम चेन्नई हाय जयश्री हाय आनंद जॉइन दस फ्रॉम डेली Hi Anand. No, I actually I am in Hyderabad. I am teaching a batch here. Oh my God! You keep traveling. I don't even realize. Anand is in Hyderabad. Welcome from Hyderabad, Anand. Thanks. And uh, joining us also is Hartosh Singh Bal from Delhi. I am guessing. Hi Hartosh. Hi. Hi. So everyone, I'm sure already knows Hartosh. But for those of you who are joining us for the first time on the Hafta, Hartosh is the political editor at the Caravan. He has worked at the Express, the Helka, Mail Today, and Open Magazine. uh today uh, we will be recording from our respective homes i'm in office but everybody else is home our studio is still under construction hopefully should be ready in another two weeks and then we shall have a spanking new studio with very good audio quality and all that stuff so before we get into the headlines i have a request we are still i think about 2 to 1/2 lakh short of our target for the nl sena uh, you've been watching our election coverage we have about 15 of our colleagues traveling across the country Manisha, Atul, Meghnath, Parikshit, and Lippi are right now in Punjab. They'll be heading back tomorrow, and then going to UP for ten days. Pratik and uh, Nidhi were in Goa. Nidhi is now in Udupi. Um, in UP, we have already Akanksha, Shivangi, and Basant. So the target was twenty three lakh twenty one thousand two hundred rupees. We are at nineteen lakh ninety six thousand. So I request all of you before election is over, kindly encourage your friends and family and others. who value news and don't want it to be left at the bharose of ads sarkari and corporate go to the news laundry page click on the sena and contribute you can also go directly to the sena contribution page in the show notes where the link will be provided so thank you all who have already contributed and thank you those who are considering can i just nudge you a little over and get you to click that button to contribute on that note uh, let's have the headlines jashree yeah so here's the headlines for the week Wholesale inflation across the country has risen to 12.96% in Jan, while the wholesale price index grew 13.56% during the month of December. Similarly, retail inflation for January has reached the RBI mandated upper limit to 6.01%. So these are very alarming numbers. So UP saw a voter turnout of over 60% in phase 2 of polling. Goa's voter turnout was 78, Uttarakhand 59. The EC said voters set an example with COVID appropriate behavior. Yogi Adityanath had said the UP election is between 80% and 20%. He later claimed he wasn't saying this in the context of religion or caste, but it was 80% who back progress and 20% who oppose everything else. A uh, BJP MLA has been issued a show cause notice by the Election Commission in Telangana. He, in a video that went viral, issued a threat saying that those who vote against the Adityanath government will be bulldozed. This is MLA Raja Singh. That Yogi Ji ne. हजारों की संख्या में जेसीपी बुलडोजर मंगवा लिए है उत्तर प्रदेश की ओर निकल चुके हैं इलेक्शन के बाद में जो जो लोग योगी जी को सपोर्ट नहीं करे उन सभी एरियाज को आइडेंटिफाई किया जाएगा और पता है ना जेसीपी और बुलडोजर किसके लिए यूज में आते हैं आई जस्ट डिस्कवर्ड बिफोर वी स्टार्टेड रिकॉर्डिंग जयश्री सिमिलर सच स्पीच मेड बाय मेंबर ऑफ द बीजेपी होने में सरिता भदौरिया Uh, she is the sitting MLA from Itawa Sadar, and this is what she said. Uh, it's in Hindi. I will translate to English for our listeners from the south. आज हम बोर्ड मांगने जाते हैं, हम कहते हैं कि दीदी बोर्ड देना तो मुँह से नहीं बोल रहे, गल्ला खा गए, रुपया खा गए, पैसा खा गए, नमक खा गए, और मुँह से नहीं बोल रहे, नमस्कार शिकार नहीं कर रहे, ये कहाँ का नियाय है? So what she's saying is that now when I go to the constituency to ask for votes, they don't even respond to my namaste because in many areas in UP, the BJP sitting MLAs are being treated with much cold vibes. And she said that you eat free ka ration that we give you, you eat our namak or whatever else, and now you will not even vote for us or acknowledge us. ये कहाँ का न्याय है? 
I'm shocked at uh, Sarita ji who thinks that all that stuff is hers that she's distributing <laughs> like she owns the langar of a gurdwara but uh, yeah I just thought the many such speeches I guess will come forth yeah um speaking of hate speech yati narsinghanan gets bailed in the case of derogatory remarks against women he's already granted bail in the hate speech case so his lawyer says he's set to be released yep the hijab row in karnataka is snowballing both nationally and internationally the organization of islamic cooperation had condemned it and then india said the oic was hijacked by vested interests meanwhile the matter is being heard in the karnataka high court but the school girls who had petitioned the court want the hearing stalled till the end of february that is till the elections are over In slightly happier news, ISRO successfully launches EOS-04 and two other satellites on Monday morning. In Jharkhand, protests have broken out over the inclusion of Bhojpuri and Magehi in for district-level appointments in a government job exam. They're saying that the languages are spoken only by a minuscule pro- uh, proportion of people. In Goa, they've achieved 100% COVID vaccination target. The entire population has received both doses, according to a health official on Wednesday. Senior Congress leader Ashwini Kumar has quit the party. He says the Congress does not reflect the national mood. So days after Ashish Mishra walked out of jail in connection with the Lakhimpur Kheri violence, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra has targeted Modi and Adityanath for sharing a stage with Ashish's father, who is Minister of State Ajay Mishra. In the fodder scam, Lalu Prasad, the head of the RJD and former Bihar Chief Minister, was convicted of fraudulent withdrawal of over 139 crores from the Treasury. In the Media One case, uh, 11 MPs. MPs journalists and others have expressed disappointment in the Kerala High Court's verdict which upheld the banning of its license they said the verdict relied on sealed cover jurisprudence i think the ministry of home affairs has claimed the channel had some security issues it did not have security clearance in the elgar parishad case an nia court has rejected the bail pleas of du professor hani babu and three others during a dialogue with india the uk has flagged the home ministry's refusal to renew oxfam india's registration under the fcra Uh, Yogi Adityanath has defended his remarks on urging voters to not let UP become like Kerala, Bengal and Kashmir. He says he is merely alerting people. In the Lok Sabha, the center has defended its decision not to give a no objection certificate to a movie on a gay soldier. It says it would show the army in poor light. The Supreme Court has pulled up the UP government for acting on recovery notices sent to anti-CA protesters. These notices were to recover losses for damage to public property. Journalist Rana Ayub has refuted reports that she misused COVID relief funds. She says that it's preposterous. This is after the ED has attached um, over 1.7 crore worth of bank deposits. The nephew of Punjab Chief Minister has been sent to 14 days judicial custody in an illegal sand mining case. In Uttar Pradesh, a missing Dalit woman has been found buried near the home of a former SP minister. His son has now been arrested. In this ongoing war over cryptocurrency the RBI governor has said cryptocurrencies are a threat to macroeconomic and financial stability. Finally in international news in the ongoing Ukraine crisis India has asked its nationals in Ukraine to consider leaving temporarily. It's also set up a control room and it may increase flights. Yeah and on the same news uh, on the same lines if depending on what channel you are following or what newspaper or website you're reading in the last 3 days you were either sure war has already broken out or you were sure it is deescalated. clearly no one knows what's happening and apparently uh, the us uh, has emptied out of course they've told all their citizens to leave ukraine and they they've destroyed their network in the embassy in kiev so that was a suggestion that war is imminent but it hasn't happened still so that is something that will keep the world on tenter hooks but also according to the us war is imminent in every other place except in places where the us is starting a war so <laughs> I feel we must draw that <laughs> distinction. <laughs> yeah, who knows where this is going to lead. But uh since election is upon us and there's major election excitement happening everywhere, let's start off with election related news and I would just like to hinge it on this Ashwini Kumar leaving the party. Say just take Punjab for example, the Ashwini Kumar, the Manish Tiwari, etc. people who can barely retain their own seat, probably not even a, a local constituency. and they've enjoyed power at the center particularly through the benevolence of the family and today they are turning around and questioning the family when their entire existence in politics has depended on the family i think there comes a point where uh, the party top brass realizes that uh, there has to be a reassessment of what is a political capital 
and what is a political liability so uh, clearly it's a point where the deadwood has been recognized and uh, they they are seen as liabilities in the longer congress plan of reviving itself uh, in state organizations so uh, in that sense yes uh, also they were not mass leaders so that does not uh, uh, turn into a major deficit in terms of electoral politics but the congress there is no reassertion of new leaders within the congress i mean these deadwoods have to go i mean they have no mass base they have no mass following so even if they go it won't affect the impact the party but i don't see any new leadership you know coming up uh, you know in a big way and reasserting its space within the party the some of the members of that congress is g23 group right had said that oh it's now time for introspection because we are in an existential crisis and all but a i mean ashwini kumar i think as a leader he has no mass base he has no appeal or profile he probably didn't have much of a future anyway within the congress i think the headline note here is that he's leaving after 46 years but the congress is a party i mean has been on this sort of teetering on the edge of death for so long even now we're saying it's still impossible to to fight the bjp or electoral platform without the congress i have a couple of announcements I would like to urge all our subscribers to participate in this new idea that we have called Friends of News Laundry. We will call this the NL Grid. Uh, for now, if you have, you know, any resources you can offer, whether it is a place to stay, whether it is a vehicle, whether it is an office with broadband for our, you know, reporting and roving team to just chill, um do write to subscription at newslaundry.com. I repeat, subscription at newslaundry.com and just to give you an idea what we're trying to do we're trying to create over the next year a grid of let's say a couple of thousand subscribers who can offer excess capacity in their offices and their homes many of you have maybe you know an extra room that can be provided for for team is there just to sit finish their edits on the laptops and send off because when you're reporting on the ground it can be hard and i think just like we have changed the face of what the revenue model or the business model of news is made it ad free successfully so uh, the traditional way of expanding an organization by getting investor money and buying huge offices or renting huge offices in different parts of the country if we have a network of subscribers who just have a room an extra room an extra car a driver even for a few hours uh, can you imagine the network we can create and how all that excess capacity that is lying unused can be unlocked we can unlock value in ways that hasn't been attempted so do write to subscription at newslaundry.com if you can be a part of the news laundry grid um although i should call it news laundry metrics metrics then we have a subscription challenge as part of our 10 year celebration until february the 28th that is uh, what you have to do is uh, gift subscriptions to your friends and family and send their email ids to us at subscription at newslaundry.com i repeat subscription at newslaundry.com with subscription challenge in the subject line when the challenge ends on feb 28 we'll pick the 10 people who gave us the most new subscribers and each of them will get a smaller postcard version of the nl at 10 limited artwork you remember that we had two limited artworks that we auctioned just unique there will be no other recreations of that uh, because the original file is going to be deleted but we have small post postcard versions of those nine of each each of those will go with a thank you note from me to those who win the subscription challenge so get your friends or family to subscribe or gift them a subscription either way tell us the email ids and mail it to subscription at newslaundry.com with subscription challenge in the headline all of you listening in the chota hafta do subscribe so you can listen to the entire hafta we will see you again next week with the hafta till then subscribe pay to keep news free because when the public pays the public is served and advertisers pay advertisers are served thank you Goodbye. All the news laundry podcasts are available on Stitcher, iTunes and any other podcast platform. Please subscribe to News Laundry. Help us keep news independent. To catch all our podcasts on news, pop culture, current affairs and sport, visit newslaundry.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sun liya Afrika, mufat khoron, not to brag or anything, but News Laundry hafta features in the top 50 in the world on SoundCloud in the news and politics category for podcasts 
So do subscribe and see what you're missing because when the public pays, the public is served. When advertisers pay, advertisers are served. Subscribe, help keep news independent and free. All News Laundry podcasts are available on iTunes and Stitcher and any other podcast platform.